How's everybody doing? My name is Mike. We got my dog Roots hanging out on place and we got Miss Puppy with us today. We're going to do some basic obedience for her. Now, uh, she came to me with very serious issues. Uh, if you haven't been watching, she's a dog that uh, was displaying, uh, you know, uh, growling, biting, those types of things in the home uh, to the people she lived with, okay? So, uh, what we do to fix that is uh, the same thing we do for any dog pretty much having any issue, is we obedience train them. And through the obedience training is how we can get the behavior modification. Now, uh, when people call me, usually they're asking me, how do we stop the dog from doing things? How do we tell the dog no, right? So the whole idea of doing the obedience stuff is we're, saying, we're telling the dog yes, we're showing the dog what we want from the dog. So you must do the obedience training part to get the behavior you want from the dog. Because if you just say no to the dog, then the dog has no behavior to refer to. So uh, what I mean by that is like, hey, don't go under the couches and stuff and try to bite me. Sit on top of place and uh, don't do any nonsense, you know. So we want to give her a job, right? So the obedience stuff is going to help us uh, modify her behavior. Now, uh, what I ask all my clients to do is uh, five to ten minutes a day with their dog in a small era, area uh, in a circular motion like this, working the dog in obedience slowly. So we're doing things like sit, heel, down, place. We're doing things like that. They can even get the crate out and use the crate with the dog. So we do that five to ten minutes a day just like you see me do here and that is what in fact is going to keep the dog good at sitting and laying down and behaving and doing place. Uh, that's what's going to keep the dog good at those things. And um, and that's that's just that's the good part of it, right? <laughs> Besides that also, that is like that's how you interact with your dog. So you don't want to see this as an obstacle or as something you have to do for five, 10 minutes a day. When I look at her and I want to give her affection like a normal owner would do, I don't just go pet her. I get her up and do something with, your, with her and then I can pet her. Like I get her up, I ask her to sit and lay down. We do the routine and then I can pet her and interact with her a little bit better. Even now, she's doing a job for me. She's on place, which again, is like a crate without walls. She's not allowed to leave until I invite her uh, to leave. So even right now, she's doing a really good job. She's just laying there, not doing, not barking, not doing anything wrong. So I can say, good girl, good place, puppy. And I can actually pet her for that. Good girl, good place, puppy. Good place, good girl. So one of the things I want to describe to me is that, like, the, this dog bit another trainer in another training facility. And uh, um, I guess they were waking the dog up or something like that. Uh, that's why we always use a leash to invite the dog in and out of the crate, on and off a of place, and when we're doing things. Because if you use a leash, it's going to keep you much safer with the dog, believe me. <laughs> All right, so heel. Good girl. You see how she came right to my heel? She did that perfect. Good girl. Good heel. Good sit. She even automatically sat. Sit, girl. So we don't say stay to the dog. If I want her to keep sitting, I'm just going to say sit. Same thing with down or anything like that. So you're going to hear me repeat things. Good girl. Good sit. So I can pet her again just for holding that sit. This dog has to learn how to hold the position. Good girl. Like I said, she was in another training facility. They taught her some habits that to me are not good. And we're trying to fix that and get a, true, a truly calm dog. And she's doing very good. As you can see, when she gives eye contact, that's a very good thing. Sit. When she looks away, no. See, that's what we don't want. So see how I said no? Good. Good sit. See how I said no to her and she went back down? That's what I want. I don't want her doing that is something another trainer taught her and it hasn't been good for her. You see where it got her? It got her uh, to my... Uh, to my training school, you know, again guys, she came for biting the owner. She's doing serious behavior. So what they did in that school was tricks and not real obedience. I say that over and over to remind people because not everybody watches all the videos. So I just want to remind people that treats aren't going to get you anywhere. Good girl. See, 
my uh, my affection is now the treat. Good girl. See how I'm getting that strong eye contact? Good girl. Good girl. Good sick. I'm saying that. Good girl. Yawning. That is also good. Good. See that strong eye contact? That's what we want. And now since I withhold my affection, good girl, at other times, but now when I work with her, I can give it to her for when she does something good like this. Good girl. Good sick. That's a good girl. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Have a girl. Good girl. Down. Good girl. Down. No. So when the dog doesn't do what, I, what we ask, it's no, then a little correction, and then down. So if the dog doesn't do, that's a good, uh, good point, puppy. What do you do if the dog doesn't do what you ask? Uh, since we've conditioned the behavior into, into her, she knows what I want from her. So if she doesn't do something, we say no, and then give a correction, and then direction. That's how the dog learns the meaning of no. So you saw me say no, tug the leash, and then down. That's how she will learn to keep that position. Good girl, good down. See the eye contact? That's, that's what we want. Down. And I just remind her, down, in case I think she's going to move, down, because dogs get weird when you get behind them. Good girl, good down. Good girl, good down, girl. Good girl, heel. Sit. Good girl, heel. Sit. Good girl, heel. Good. Good girl. So I'll just give her a little tug tug if she tries to get in front of me. Sit. Good girl, good sit. Good job, girl. Heel. Heel. That's it. Good girl. Heel. That's it. Good girl. I actually want to keep her in one spot and not move her too much. She, uh, again, she has no problem moving. It's, it's not that. We have, if you have a dog that's excited and wants to move a lot, uh, like I said, you saw how she wanted to put her paws up. We want her to hold this position, get used to holding it and sitting and waiting like a service animal. Good girl. Good girl. But you see how, that's how I condition the eye contact is when she does it, I tell her, good girl. Good girl. Good sit, girl. Sit. Good girl. And this lets the dog know that we can move and they need to stay still, which is very healthy. Good girl. Good sit. Good girl. Heel. Sit. Down. Good girl. Down. So she's she's doing very good. Dogs, uh, yeah, even though she's seven years old, she has no problem learning new behaviors. They just need uh, a teacher that can teach them in a way they trust, understand, uh, and respect. So I'm going to bring her over to her bed. Now when we go to her, her bed, uh, the routine is with the bed, the crate, the front door, those are thresholds. Down. Good girl. When we, uh, when we go to her place, you're going to see me uh, have her sit and wait and then tell her to get on. We're, we never uh, let the dog right onto the bed because otherwise the dog will start shooting onto the bed like a rocket ship. Same thing with the crate and the front door. And you start doing that at the front door, then the dog's going to pull. So it's all about keeping a certain ambiance and keeping the dog in a chill mode and keeping him them very relaxed. So rushing is your enemy. We want this. Good girl. Good down. We want this. We want relaxation from the human and the dog. Good down girl. And she's also doing this with another dog in the room, you know, and this is what we want her to mirror. We want her to look like this dog. And that's how life is going to be easiest for the owner because ultimately that's what we're doing this for. And the dog, it's going to be much easier on her. Good girl you know, to live a life like this in her home where she's confident in knowing what the owner wants from her. Because right now she's very confident in knowing what, what I want from her. That's why I'm getting this. Good girl. Remember, this is a dog who is biting the owners. You know, good girl. And I can touch her anywhere. She hasn't given me that behavior. Good down. Good girl. Good down. Good girl. Good down. Good girl. Good down. And it's very important to have this obedience. And it can be, uh, it might seem very small to do this, but uh, it makes a huge difference in the dog's head. Uh, structure 
is what makes a dog behave. Uh, if you take the follower position, the dog has no choice but to be the leader. The way to take the leader position is to do work like this with the dog. Hook a leash up to the dog, have it hook up, hooked up when they're not in the crate, and uh, make sure they're always following rules. I'll give you an example. Heel. Good girl. Good heel. Good job. So sit. So that here's rules for the place. She has to sit first and Okay, place. All right, so now she's on her bed, right? Place. So now she's on her bed, but now when she's on her bed, she has another set of rules. So the idea of always having the structure and the rules, and the rules are she can't do any nonsense, she can't jump off or anything like that. She has to just relax on place. No barking, no biting, no uh, doing anything like that. So uh, when we give them rules, it's very healthy for them. That's giving them a job. If they don't have rules and you just have toys spread out on the floor and the dog's allowed to do anything they want in the house, then the dog doesn't have, is not going to have any sense of, uh, you know, of, of leadership at all. You know, that's what, that's the, the definition of leadership, you know. So uh, we can't let the dog just free run the house. We have to give her a piece of furniture that she can own and have as hers, which is a very nice piece of furniture. And uh, she loves it, by the way. This is like her, she loves being on this thing, you know. So uh, it's very good for the dog. We want to teach the dog place and work obedience with them at least five, ten minutes a day in a circle, kind of just like uh, what you saw me.